Hey guys, this is Emig77 back at you with another Houdini tutorial. I'm just here in motion. I wanted to show you a really quick logo I threw together so I can demonstrate this because we're going to make a really cool logo in Houdini. I just made it like this with a white background and I exported it as a TIFF, T I F F, as a TIFF file. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is open up Houdini. I've already got mine open. And I'm going to tab in over here, Geometry node. I'm going to hit tab and start typing geometry. And there's my geometry node. And I'm going to lay that down. Let's back out here. As you can see, we have our stock geometry. I'm going to go inside. And I'll have a file node. I'm going to delete that sucker. Get rid of it because we don't want to use it. But we do want to use a node that Houdini does provide called trace. T-R-A-C-E. So I'm going to hit the tab key and start typing, start typing trace. T-R-A-C-E. And there it is. There's our trace node. Let's lay it down. As you can see, we get a circle. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to our image input. It says circle.pick. We're going to pick our own picture. I'm going to pick that logo I exported as a TIFF file right there. And there's our logo. Now I have my points turned on, which is right here. This little blue um, ball right here. <laughs> and... And you can see we got a lot of points. So we're going to need to, to do some tweaking on this. So let's add a resample node. So let's tab and start typing resample. And there's our resample node. Let's bring that in. Let's visualize it. Okay, well, it's kind of messing up on us. So we're going to want to go up here to our length parameter. And we're going to want to adjust that down we get something like that right there now that's reduced our number of points drastically dramatically and um, that's more about what we're looking for so now I'm gonna go in here and add a carve node so I'm gonna hit tab and type carve C A R V E there's our carve node there you go you bloat let's plop it down there let's connect it in and let's visualize that now we can do some cool animation with our logo as you can see, when I move this first U slider, we got some pretty cool little animation here going on with our logo there. You see the little blue dots? But, you know, that's not really going to do us much good, is it? Like a bunch of little ants running around. So what we're going to do is we're going to enable our second U. Now, as you can see, when I animate this one, the other end is animating. We can get some interesting effects here, see? So I'm going to take this one all the way up to 1 and take my first U now and animate it, you can see we can start with our logo writing itself on kind of here. So let's set some keyframes for this. Okay? Let's take it all the way to one and let's um, option click first UI to set a keyframe. Now let's go to frame 48 and slide this slider back to zero and option click it again which I don't have to because I have auto key on so now as you can see when we and when we go through from frame 1 to frame 48 we have our logo writing on so let's do a little bit more with it let's add a poly wire so let's tab P O L Y W I R E poly wire and let's throw that down in there like that let's visualize it and once again, we have a little bit of a problem, to say the least. But that's easily fixed. Go up to your wire radius, and let's bring that down to where it looks good. Let's see, that's looking better. Now that's looking a lot better there. Still a little thick for my blood. Let's take it a little more. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Now, as you can see, let's turn on our real time here and make it stop at frame, I don't know, 65. Like so. Now, let's play this. You can see our logo is rotting on. And, of course, we'd want to adjust the speed and stuff. But look at there. Now, we have a pretty cool little logo animation. 
And the beauty of it is, this can be done with any logo you can make within Motion, Photoshop, Illustrator, um, any, any of those programs that can export as a TIFF file. And you can imagine how you can get creative with this. You could even have it burning on like sparks. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you could get totally creative. I could take this back into motion and track these edges here. Or just use a particle system right here within Houdini would be probably the most, you know, a lot of people wouldn't know how to do that. So they could just take it into After Effects or something and track these ends and stick a particle on there and run it backwards or whatever. I mean, there's so much stuff you could do with this. So I hope you've learned something from this, guys. I really do. Um, and I hope you watch the next videos coming up. Because I have a few planned. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.